so what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel so as you see today i'm going to be doing something different a whole new concept so i'm doing this vlog called toast with the homies and as you can see i got a close friend homie here with me rob so rob go ahead tell the people who you are what you about uh for sure uh my name is rob tavius madden from valley alabama uh, an actor host man i just like to call myself an entertainer but yeah here today with the homie man for the toast up yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Okay. Huh? <laughs> you gotta huh? toast before you. Huh? Okay, okay. So, All right. toasting to the first block, toast with the homies. All right. What toast with the homies is gonna be about? I'm just gonna have like my everyday friends come on. We're gonna discuss topics that people just talk about every day, like on social media. So, the first topic that we're gonna talk about is should you shoot your shot? So, I've been seeing this a lot on social media. Me and my friends have talked about this in our group message. And it's, should the woman shoot her shot to the man in 2018? Should we shoot our shot? So, I think we should. But I have stipulations. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's certain times and places when a woman should shoot her shot and when she shouldn't. So, okay. Why shouldn't okay go go with the why why shouldn't she first? I want to why hear. shouldn't she? Yeah. Shouldn't okay. Yeah. So the reason why I feel like women shouldn't shoot this shot is because you don't want to chase a man. Like we not about to be out here chasing y'all. Okay, so. okay, but <laughs> let, hold on, wait, wait a minute. I I got y'all because I know what y'all think. I'm thinking the same thing. So if you look at a woman as chasing a man, if she's shooting her shot, I'm spitting. If she's shooting a shot, why don't you look at it that way with a man's doing the no, same thing? No, no, no. So right? when we were created and put in this world, uh -huh. men were meant to be the seekers, the go-getters, the chasers. That's what y'all supposed to do. Okay, first of all. <laughs> first of all. First of all. See, I gotta drink. You know, he gonna make me drink more than than I'm supposed to. First of all. We live in a country and a world now where women want equality, correct? Oh, uh, no. We <laughs> correct? <laughs> correct. No, we're not going down it's this e path. It's equality. <laughs> so, I don't think, and this is just my opinion, I don't think that if a woman shoots her shot at a man, that it's considered chasing him. Like, in no no way, shape, form, or fashion. I yeah, I, yeah, I don't think it's fully chasing, but you don't want to do it to the point where it comes off as chasing. Okay, give me an example. I feel like it's okay to a certain degree for women to shoot their shot. Mm -hmm. And I say don't do it to the point where you're chasing because there's an art to shooting your shot as a woman. And ladies, hopefully I don't give away too much of the girl code, but I'm about to tell you some, <laughs> some ways you can shoot your shot and not come off as chasing. <laughs> so I, I feel like it's okay to shoot your shot. Okay. But don't chase. Okay. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I was like, okay, it's way more women than men here. True. So if you out somewhere, you see a guy looking at you, you looking at him, he might feel like, oh, I can't approach her. She looks like she's stuck up or she's unapproachable. So I feel like that's a good opportunity for the lady to go ahead and like suit on up and yeah. just, just throw in the ball, just assist them a little bit. So That's true. One way I feel like ladies, you can do it without coming off as thirsty or overly aggressive just maybe just look at them. So say for instance, you in a social setting, you at the bar, you at a lounge, just look up at him. Like he might catch you licking at him. He's like, okay, she licking at me. She's inviting me in to come have a conversation. That's shooting your shot. Like I find that's helping the guy to come shoot his shot. Let me interject. <laughs> okay, so what if the guy is shot? And I'm speaking, Okay, I'm speaking from experience with this because I'm a shy guy myself. Very shy guy. So, if I'm looking at you, you looking at me, I'm looking at you, you looking at me, I don't want to approach you, <laughs> you don't want to approach me, <laughs> then like, what? Well, I mean, okay, what do so, you get from that? Okay, so the guy is shy. That's not working. You looking at him. Okay, maybe you find a way to like bump into him or like walk past him or something. Ladies, you know you've done this before. Try to act like you're going to the restroom. Trying to walk his way so he'll notice you. Oh, God. Oh, my God. And then, like, if you don't want to be that over-aggressive and you're not comfortable with shooting your full shot, 
try to do that. Walk to the restroom, walk in his direction. And if he don't say anything then, then I probably would just go and pass him up because he, he too shy. Like, oh, oh. I need more aggressiveness. You gotta be able to do something now. I put a ball in your court. You gotta go ahead and dribble and do something with it now. Let, 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 let me <laughs> sit right quick, cause I got something I wanna say. So, ah, so you telling me, instead of you, if you wanna approach a guy, instead of you just coming over and just, boom, hi, my name is Whitney, woody woody woo and all that. Instead of just doing that being straightforward, you would just walk by, bump him going to the bathroom or something like that. Like, why, why See, go? See, because I'm a shy person too. So I'm not gonna be, like, I believe in shooting your shot, but I'm not gonna be the one who go that far. I'm a baiter when I shoot my shot. That's what I do. See, see, nah, nah. But women, I feel like there's nothing wrong. If you want to be that person he just mentioned, walk over like, hey, my name is such and such. I feel like that's okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. I don't judge women for doing that because we're in an age where I don't know what's wrong with these men. It's no excuse for it, but some of them claim they shy, but <laughs> I don't know why they want to just approach us. But if you that woman, you comfortable, you can walk up and introduce yourself. Go ahead. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. Do you prefer shooting your shot more in a public setting or through like social media? Like DM I say social thing? media. Like that would be my perfect type of situation to shoot my shot in. Okay. Like unless we in a public type comfortable situation like a social gathering with close friends mm -hmm. or one of my friends bring the guy over into the situation then I would be comfortable with that. And I'm speaking about past life because I'm a taken <laughs> woman right now, but <laughs> I just gotta put that disclaimer out there. Like yeah. <laughs> past life. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not comfortable with the whole public thing, more so social media. So ladies, I've had a conversation with some friends about, should I slide in his DM? I think there's nothing wrong with sliding in a DM. <laughs> <laughs> like don't, I wouldn't come off as super aggressive. Nobody wants to be that thirsty lady, but just something subtle. Like, how do you think a woman should slide in the DM? I mean, just introduce yourself. Like, you just try to strike up a conversation, especially if it's something. That's, say, for example, you've been you've been feeling somebody a long time, and they might post a picture or something that you like. You could compliment their picture, or okay. they might post a status or something you can relate to. Oh, I like what you said about woo de woo de woo. It's it's like different ways and different avenues you can take. But I will say <laughs> this. <laughs> I will say this. A lot of guys now, well, I'm not gonna say a lot. Well, some guys are afraid to jump in DMs. I slide in DMs now because, and you know why. You know why? <laughs> it's the year of exposing people. Exactly. I don't know why people exactly. do that now. Like, why do we want to expose people? Like, y'all messing up y'all chances of getting chose because y'all want to expose people. Why? I, I just saw something on Twitter last night. This dude complimented this girl and was like, hey, you know, I've been following you for a long time. I just want to let you know you're, you're a beautiful girl and everything. You know, I would like to take you out and get to know you. She screenshotted that screenshot of his profile picture and then caption like the the picture post and everything was like boy if you don't get out my dm <laughs> it's like like what are you doing i don't doing? know maybe it's the younger generation but i don't do that my friends don't do that i don't know but stop people stop doing that like why are you trying to expose somebody like what gain are you getting from exposing somebody they want clout clout and retweets because that that tweet <laughs> That tweet, and this is no lie, that tweet had over 5K retweets. And people was going in on her in the comments, too. See, people uh, like us out here trying to just make it, being genuine people. And people exposing people, and they getting all of the tweets and stuff. Like, okay, but that's a different conversation for another day. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to talk about the reasons why I feel like maybe you shouldn't be overly aggressive when shooting your shot. And as I mentioned before, you don't want to be the chaser. So say for instance, you shoot your shot to a guy and it falls through whatever, y'all start dating or whatever, talking. I feel like by the woman shooting her shot first, she could end up being the like expected in the relationship or a dating situation as a person who always got to take the effort and initiative to make stuff happen. He might be like, oh, she shot his shot first. Oh, she gonna have to hit me up first. She gonna have to plan a date first. 
Like you might get in that role where you end up being the person doing all the work. So that's why I feel like shoot your shot, but to a certain extent. Don't end up being that person who's doing the chasing because ladies, you are the prize. These men should be chasing us. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Um, as I said, ladies, men, whatever. If you want somebody, just go get that person, man. Don't let nothing stop you, hold you back, none of that. <clears throat> but for y'all screenshotters, <laughs> for y'all screenshotters, y'all ain't going nowhere in life. Y'all gonna be sad and lonely for the rest of y'all life. I'm telling you. Listen to me now. Listen to me. This is Rob Tegas Magic Speaker. You screenshot me. At least I was looking good. I don't care. Like, I, don't, I don't understand it, man. Like, I, I, you get a compliment and you screenshot it. Like, okay. Like, what was the point of that? I, I don't understand. Screenshot me and expose me. Shit, you might bring somebody else into the DM. Like, Amen. But past Amen. life. Let's fast life. <laughs> fast life. Hashtag fast life. Hashtag fast life. Yeah, right, go good right yeah, here. Hashtag fast life. Yeah, right. like, I feel like this year is the year for shooting your shot. Like in all seriousness, jokes aside, I feel like in 2018, ladies, men, whoever, if you, like he said, if you want something, go get it. Like you never know when your last day is going to be. Tomorrow's not promised. You don't want to live a life feeling like I wish I would have did that. I wish I would have talked to that woman I saw yesterday. I wish I would have talked to that man. You still single and you wondering like, why hasn't this person came to me yet? You never know, he might have been there. You might have walked past him. She might have been there. You might have overlooked that person. So in all seriousness, shoot your shot. It's 2018, if it's a job you want, go get it, apply for it. If it's an opportunity, like, okay, say for instance with me, I always wanted to do the whole natural hair YouTube channel, like post tutorials. I want to be a brand ambassador for natural hair companies or different beauty hair companies. And this year when 2018 came in, I said, I'm going to take myself serious, stop doubting myself, and I'm gonna shoot my shot at these companies. Like I'm gonna upgrade my brand and I'm gonna shoot my shot. And opportunities have been presented. I'm a Shea Baxter now for Shea Moisture. Um, Rob, I'm sure you can speak on this also. Um, <laughs> Speaking as somebody who has been, <clears throat> excuse me, in this, I guess, entertainment business since like 2013, 2012, 2013, it's been plenty of times where I missed a lot of opportunities by not shooting my shot. But man, you just gotta, it just gotta come a point in time where like you get tired of like not taking that chance. Like, I look back now and look back at the opportunities I missed and I'm like, like why did I do that? Why did I do that? But every since now, I've just approached everything with an open mind and like, I'm gonna go get it regardless. The worst they can say is no. The worst this opportunity can do is like say no and turn me down. It's just, I, I've found success since then. I have no, no complaints, no complaints. Yeah, even if other people sleep on you, do not sleep on yourself. Amen. Like, go out there and get what you want and let's toast to that. Hey, like, hey. toast into hey. shooting your shot in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll see you up to that. Yeah, so <laughs> guys, I just want to thank you for watching Shoot Your Shot, my first vlog in the Toast with the Homie series. I just want to thank Rob for coming on. Make sure you guys go out and subscribe to his channel, his social media. Go ahead, plug yourself in. Twitter, I am Rob Madden. Instagram, I am Rob Madden. Facebook, Rob Tavius <laughs> M Madden. Make sure you put the M in there. <laughs> And I'll go ahead and I'll put his links down yeah, in the yeah, comment yeah, yeah. in the description box so you guys can go out. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He has some dope content. He has some big things coming up. So make sure you go out and follow him. And you know you can subscribe to me. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you can follow me on Instagram at wit underscore fro life. So just want to thank you guys for watching again. And don't forget to shoot your shot. Don't sleep on yourself, even if others try to sleep on you. Peace.